Hey, can we talk about soil science? And more specifically, I want to talk about our macronutrients. I want to talk about NPK and how it moves in the soil. Because a lot of times as gardeners, we're always told to fertilize, fertilize, and fertilize with that NPK, right? But do we know how it moves in the soil? Because understanding that movement in the soil is going to be key for not burning your plants, which happens a lot of times when we over fertilize. So first up, let's start with nitrogen. Nitrogen is going to be one of your highly mobile macronutrients in your soil. Now we know that nitrogen is highly important for your leafy growth development, but like I said, it's highly mobile in the soil, meaning that honestly, it could leach away easily through a couple of rains or a couple of waters. And next up we have phosphorus, right? So phosphorus is key for your fruits and your root development. But now phosphorus on the other hand, unlike nitrogen, is very slow to move in the soil. It's almost stagnant. And now the addition of phosphorus is going to be great for your flowering and fruiting plants. For instance, like your peppers, tomatoes, and so forth. But since phosphorus is so slow to move in the soil, once you've added your phosphorus, you're probably good to go. And last but certainly not least is going to be potassium. Potassium is going to be essential for your overall plant vigor and disease resistance. Now, as far as overall mobility in your soil, your potassium is not going to be as fast as like your nitrogen, for instance. I don't really want to say it's like the mid range, but it's just a little bit more mobile than your phosphorus would be. All right. So now why does any of this matter? Right. Well, if you can kind of understand how the macronutrients move or don't move in your soil, could potentially stop you from stacking nutrients on top of one another, creating a situation where you're burning out your plants. But at the end of the day, it's always best to know what's in our soil first. And so with that being said, I'm going to say always reach out to your local ag extension and see if you can test your soil to see exactly what's there first before we start haphazardly throwing fertilizers all over the place.